What's going on everybody? It's QBear QBZ. I'm bringing you my impressions and what you should know about Mayhem Clash. Spoiler alert, it's awesome. And what you should be doing to get ready for the Taken King drop, which is happening in just a matter of a few days. First, Mayhem Clash is absolutely amazing. Very frantic gameplay. Something that's not usually seen in Destiny. It's a complete change from the normal PvP formula, which is a little bit slower and methodical, making sure that the grenades that you throw it will be the best option kind of thing. But here you you're you're basically given wholesale reign to just go ahead and just throw everything you got, use all your melees, use your grenades, they'll come back super quick. Your supers are happening in like 20 seconds. Just go ahead and super everywhere. It causes as much mayhem and destruction as you can within the six to seven minute i can't remember exactly how long the gameplay is but it is absolutely ridiculous the point totals are times 10 there's a lot of mayhem and carnage it is something that really strays away from the traditional destiny formula it's something more akin to a call of duty i would say this feels a lot this mode feels really call of duty is just from the terms of like you dying and you're instantly respawn kind of thing it's very uh, arcadey the way it feels. It's it, uh, you don't feel very lumbered down. You don't have to be methodical, kind of like with even capture the flag. Even though you might feel that you play that sometimes, it'd be completely different how you will play Mayhem to any other game mode in Destiny. Now to continue on with that, a lot of PVPers might not find this mode very interesting because of the franticness of it. It's really hard to change stuff together. But as I'll give you guys a couple of tips and advice. Keep moving, stay moving. It is in your best interest to just keep moving around the map. Know where the heavy ammo drops are, where the special ammo drops are. Uh, have an offensive super. In that way you can mow down a competition. Literally, you can string together four to five kills. If you need a double kill or like the five kill streak bounties, this would be the perfect game mode to knock those bounties off with because I won't say that it's not difficult, but it's a hell of a lot easier to lay waste the Guardians than it is in any other game mode. Uh, one thing that I did find a problem with in this is maybe a little too frantic. Um, players are just ready to do anything. You never know who has rockets, that kind of anticipation. Uh, there's not really much strategy to this style of play either. It's basically just go around and gun the guy, whoever you need to do kind of thing and everybody has you never know who has rockets is absolutely crazy and the spawn points are pretty ridiculous so you don't have an idea of where the enemy might be coming from now to finish off this video what you should be doing before the official drop of the taking king on the 15th which is in a little less than three days from now first you should be making sure that you are edging your faction uh, this involves uh, turning in free taking king bounties taking king bounties that we have right 2.0 bounties that we have right now make sure that you use all of those at this current moment to add your factions uh, most of you probably have focus light that from the red bull code that won't be a problem you'll be able to use that pretty quickly i would actually wait to save to use those till after you finish the taking king main story just so you can buff yourself a little bit more before the king's fall raid on the 18th but for the most part I would say make sure that you have all of your factions edge even if they're a very small amount. Right now I have two characters that have pretty high edges in their factions and I'm actually not going to play any more Crucible or Vanguard with those characters until the drop of the Taken King on the 15th just to ensure that I can get into new packages and gear as fast as possible. So make sure you edge your factions, get ready for the Taken King, don't delete any of your gear yet. And also, I would say do not upgrade any of your current gear right now. Save that glimmer because Taken King weapons will be better in greens than they are legendaries in year one. And you want to make sure you'll be able to take advantage of all of your glimmer and all that stuff beforehand. So quick note, glimmer, save your glimmer, turn in your bounties, get ready for the Taken King, don't delete your gear. Bye guys.